What's happening, guys? Welcome to the Russell Hant Show and the player's performance and the Russell Crown. We're going to talk today about episode six. I know you just watched episode seven. We had a little bumps in the road of life in my, on my side of the family. So uh, we're moving forward from that, and we're going to talk about episode six. I'm going to be doing episode seven, probably release it uh, tomorrow. Hopefully I can get this released today. And also, I'll be talking about uh, the, the ratings. Uh, every once in a while, every couple of weeks, I like to do the ratings. But we'll get going with the Russell Crown and the player's performance. All right, first, we're going to start with the person that all of you, and I do always the same list, so the same pictures come up. All of you probably think is going to get the Russell Crown. Uh, he did an amazing job in episode six. To tell you the truth, guys, episode six was my favorite episode so far. And that's probably because all the strategic playing going on and everybody's in trouble and everybody's trying to get their way through the game and make the merge. So we're going to start with Mike Gabler. Now, uh, he threw out Elizabeth's name and... Uh, he was like, okay, she looked through my bag, even though she didn't. Uh, I didn't give him the Russell crown. I'll explain that more because of who I gave it to. I'll tell you why I gave it to this person when we get to his name. Now you know it's a he. Uh, so I think that uh, he did a great job. I had to debate uh, who I was going to give the Russell crown to. And in my mind, my mind debates a lot. And he... I think that he did the right thing. He wanted to throw her name under the bus. He did it for a reason. He's like, uh, did I throw a name under the bus? Yes, I did. That's what I wanted to do. He wanted to stir up trouble. Now, I can't wait till we get to her because I think she's a great player, but when you play like Russell these days, uh, I don't think it works. And Mike, the reason he didn't get the Russell crown is because... He started getting super paranoid himself. He started running around and, uh, you know, asking questions, questions he shouldn't ask, questions you should sometimes keep your mouth shut. If you keep talking and talking and talking, sooner, sooner or later you'll talk yourself right out of the game. <laughs> and I started was like, I started thinking he's talking a little too much. He needs to calm down and relax. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Let me get. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the Russell Crown because I gotta put these two people in the same category, and it's Sammy the Kid. Now, the reason I'm going so early with the Russell Crown is because I gotta link these two together. Now, Gabler was running around, and Sammy the teenager went up to him and had to calm him down. He told him, "Hey, relax, relax, just." Take it down, man. Take it down. Uh, I know why Gabriel did what he did. He wanted to get, wanted her out. It was a personal matter, and that's another problem. When it's personal and not game worthy, she would have stayed on his side for a little while. I think. Now it's like getting rid of one of the people that wouldn't vote you out. I, I never understood that. I don't understand why people vote out people that wouldn't vote them out it's like why do you vote out your own alliance member why do you do this what it just doesn't make sense to me so with gabler though he he voting out him wanting to vote elizabeth i think uh, it was a personal reason he was pissed off at her you can't play the game of survivor pissed off you got to play it strategically. Now, that's one thing the way I played. I always said after the game, I didn't play vindictive. You don't see me playing vindictive. You see me explaining every single thing I do, including burning the socks. I said if I can control the way they feel, I can control the way they think. That is a strategic plan that I had in my mind. That wasn't a vindictive move. It was always strategic for me. I didn't want to get rid of Boston Rob. I said, I don't want to get rid of him. But he keeps trying to get rid of me. I want to keep the team strong so we can win challenges. But he keeps trying to get rid of me. 
So I have to vote him off. Why wouldn't I vote off Sandra right off the bat if I was trying to be, if I was being a, a, a personal player and I played with my heart? I don't play with my heart. I play strategically, not vindictively. I think Mike's move was a vindictive play because he didn't like her personally because he thinks she went through his bag. So we'll move on. Even though that that's the, he's the most interesting character in episode six. Spend a little time talking about him, and I think it's it's warranted that we do so. So we'll move on from that and talk about Noel. Noel had to pick a challenge. It's very strange to me how the person with one leg picks in a rock, and she's the one that sits out. I mean, they pick from a bag, so. I guess that's the luck of the draw that she sat out because she probably needed to sit out a challenge like that. I don't know how she could have ran up that ramp. Uh, they would have had to lean down and grab her and then pull her up. I don't know. It would have been very difficult, but very interesting to watch her because she never gives up. She She's a fighter. So I would have liked to see it, but we didn't get to see it. As luck goes, she picked a rock that got her to sit out. But other than that, uh, we didn't see a lot of people uh, this episode. We seen them, but they didn't have too much strategic play. And she's one of them that we didn't see much of. Okay, Owens. Man, Owen is still the same. Episode 6, still the same type of player. Uh, he's pretty calm. Uh, when Sammy went up to him and was just talking to uh, Mike Gabler about... Man, why'd he do that? He didn't go up to him and, and get mad at him. He just listened to him. Then when he walked away, he told Owen, he's an idiot. Why is he doing that? Sammy's a... He, again, Sammy wins the Russell Crown. He is surprisingly good at this game. Surprisingly calm as a teenager. He doesn't get all riled up. Now, let's see what happens when his name gets thrown out there. But he's staying calm and letting everybody else fight. When all that happened and everybody's going, chaos happens at, at the camp, the best thing to do is sit down and shut up. That's the best thing to do. Even if, even if your name is on the line. Now, I, it's really hard for me to do something like that. But being able to just sit there, trust me, the vote changes 10 different times <coughs> before you go to tribal council so if you if your name is on the line elizabeth and we'll talk about elizabeth now if your name is on the line and then you run around and then your you, your name is you hear your name but you're not the one going home you talk your way out so elizabeth talked her way out of the game of survivor she wasn't the one going home. Now she went home. So I'm telling you guys, no matter how stressful it is, if you play this game and right off the bat, right off the bat, you hear you're in trouble. You could do a little bit of work, but all that work, Elizabeth went crazy. She started talking to everybody. We just seen a little aspect of it as well. We didn't see a tremendous amount what probably she did. She, she, she played like I used to play, or like I played. She played super aggressive. She heard her name. I'm fighting to the very end. Nowadays, if you fight to the very end, they say, "Wow, this person is good. Wow, this person is talking to everybody. Maybe we should think about voting this person out instead." So it's a legitimate, strategic way of playing to shut up. But make sure you, you tell the cameras. Make sure you tell the cameras, <coughs> I'm not doing anything right now. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and keep hope alive. Because that's all I can do. If I run around like that, like, like I do, like Elizabeth did nowadays, I'm gone. So I couldn't do that. And that's a hell of a strategic way to play. We've seen that happen with Tony, one of the greatest players to ever play the game. Sit back, do nothing, waited for, his, for them to put their guard down. And then, bam, Mike Tyson them. All right, yeah. We'll go to the next. All right, so now we have Cody. Now, we heard Cody's name. Cody was in trouble. And Cody didn't do much. 
he sat down and didn't really do much. By the way, congratulations to Sammy winning the Russell Crown. I get I, my mind gets r rattled, and then I just keep talking about everybody. Try to, I try to put it together, but uh, Cody, <laughs> there I go. He, uh, you know, he he's playing a good game. I think now he's he's in trouble. He thinks it's laughable watching everybody talk to each other. Oh, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, well, that's part of this social game. And he was like, hey, I'll play with it. I'll do what they want to do. I'll tell everybody, uh, I, I couldn't wait to meet you. You're the one I couldn't wait to see and talk to. I mean, me and you been eyeing each other, eyeballing each other this whole entire time. I'm glad we're here now. Cody thinks it's a bunch of BS, which I kind of agree. And... Uh, I think he's playing a solid game, but Cody's in trouble. He he's gonna have to fight his way out of this. Next, I gotta pass people up, guys. There goes Sammy. Congratulations, Sammy, winning the Russell Crown. He's just a calm teenager, and he's playing the game right. He's keeping his mouth shut. He's doing a great job. Next, Carla. Uh, Carla hurt her hand. We seen a little blood, and it was uh. You know, she kept pulling, man. Going up those steep, that steep thing, running up that ramp. And for her, uh, she's a little heavier. For me, it would be super hard. I was thinking how, how would I, I would have to lose 30, 40 pounds before I play Survivor. Because how would I do that these days? I'm 50 years old. I'm overweight. That'd be hard to do. So uh, her doing it was kind of a little inspiring. I like to see that push. You know, never give up. And she did it pretty quickly. Uh, considering uh, how steep that was. Jeff said it was the steepest uh, ever. The highest and steepest ever in the history of the game. So, uh, other than that, strategically, I liked how at the merge, she kept her mouth shut. It was funny what your boy said, but we'll get to him in a little bit. And she just kept her mouth shut and kept keep eating and drinking her beer. Next, and <coughs> talking about your boy, here he is, Ron. When you're at the bottom, you'll say some crazy things. Things like, hey guys, this is the final seven. Let's all do it. Man, come on. Nobody there. Nobody there. For the exception of maybe one person is ready to align with you. They already, the game has already started. Is this? If this was day three, then maybe, yeah, all seven of us, we're going to the end. Maybe you can get something cemented there. But it's too late. The game has already started. You're at the merge. And you're trying to get an all seven alliance. It shows his strategic mind not too good. He's very good uh, physically. He, he was like, no, uh, Jeff said he's like uh, Spider-Man. Upside down. Bringing him in. Got us a little duck right there. I had to wait to do this video because all the ducks go crazy over here. Think you're going to feed them. I have to go back to the house, get my wallet. Forgot my wallet. Come back. I'm going to bring some bread next time and defeat him. So, Ryan's not playing too good strategically. But physically, now's the time that they'll get rid of him. But usually the physical, big physical people do terrible in the physical challenges. Because it's not made for you. Next. Okay, you're gone already. Okay. Janine. So Janine, she's in trouble. Yes, Janine's in trouble. She, uh, she was aligned with Elizabeth, trying to save her. She's the one that went through the bag, Mike Gabler. She's the one that did it. But Elizabeth didn't even throw her under the bus. Uh, nobody really did. But she is the one that went through it. Again, Sammy did not throw her under the bus when he seen her go through the bag. Hence why he's so calm and making smart decisions. No, don't throw her name under the bus. It would just get your, you, you go crazy. She would go around spouting things. Maybe you'll, she'll spout some lies about Sammy. You never know when people uh, are in the crossfires, the things that they would do and say to try to stay in that game. We've seen some drastic things happen in the history of the game that people would do and say to try to stay in the game. Uh, but I see her freaking out. Uh, she has an idol. I don't see her staying much longer. 
she's a solid strategic player, though. If she can only calm down, she did the right thing by not giving the idol. You know, I give my idols to my alliance. She did not give her uh, idol to her alliance uh, member because it would just have been a mute play at that point. Too many people. Too many people there. All of a sudden, you show your cards. Those two would have been in trouble again. And she would have probably went before Elizabeth if she would have done that. Next. All right, Jesse. You know, uh, Jesse's playing a calm game. Uh, he reminds me a little bit of Cody. Uh, the way they're playing. Calm. Collective. Again, let's see what they do when they're, the bullseye is on their forehead. We'll see how calm they play then we'll move on next i don't want to make this too long we have cassidy she's cassidy she does nothing she uh we don't see much of cassidy what she had one episode this episode so she must be being very quiet in all aspects even when we heard her name thrown out there with uh with james it was like okay do something. We've seen James get very animated at Tribal Council. But Cassidy ain't not really playing uh, strategically. I think she's just playing to exist. I say this a lot. I say people play that game. People give up in that game physically right here uh, without giving up. You quit physically is like quitting mentally to me. But people quit that game all the time, but not physically. Is she doing that? Who knows? We'll see in the future. Because we didn't see her fight for herself. We didn't even see James fight for himself too much. So next, talk about James. James didn't really fight for himself at all. Uh, we didn't see much happening. He is depending, and I think the same thing with Cassidy. They're depending on other people uh, to fight for themselves. Now, I'm not going to, this is probably the first time I'm not going to put people's name, the picture up. If you don't know their pictures by now, then uh, you probably shouldn't be watching the show. Last one here, I have... Uh, You see, I'm getting confused myself. Dwight? Dwight's not home yet. Didn't even see him. If he's if he got voted off, then I missed it. I might have missed it because I missed an episode. Uh, we had some, a death in the family. And uh, I did a video on that. I don't want to talk about it any longer. So if I'm wrong on that, then I'm wrong. But I think that that's it. Uh, even if he was there, he didn't do much. Elizabeth, she went home. Sorry about that, Elizabeth. You play a very hard game back in uh, season 20 and below, maybe 30 and below. You would have been a great player. But nowadays, you play that hard, you go home. That's all I got for you guys. Head over to Enhanced Reality. I'll put the description in below. Subscribe. I'm going to do a lot of things. Next two days, I'm off. I'm not doing much, so I'm going to do video after video. Go over there and check out what I have coming. I have the ratings next i'm going to talk about that probably going to head home because i got to get my wallet forgot that and that's the next thing i'll do i appreciate you guys for watching please subscribe hit that notification bell heading to philippines pretty soon philippines vietnam thailand i hope you join me for all that that's all i got until next time keep hope alive